Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As promised, this is the December solar update. We've had a mixed bag in December to be honest. We've had a lot more sunny days than in November, but it turns out that as you get closer to the shortest day of the year, your window for solar generation just keeps shrinking. Coupled with that, We've also been running our mini split air cons as a heat source uh, rather than using the pellets in the pellet fired boiler. So that's eaten into our electricity reserves quite a lot, which led to us running the generator quite a lot longer than we probably would have normally. Something else that I got involved with um, in the last week is a friend of mine put me onto a new monitoring solution for the solar system. Uh, solar assistant. Uh, thanks Colin. Uh, really really excellent piece of software I guess you could call it. You can download the software and install it on a Raspberry Pi, plug it into your inverters and your BMS systems and it monitors everything for you in one nice handy um, console. So this is the SNMP box that I ordered from MPP Solar for remote access to the inverters it's pretty rudimentary the logging's not really good on it and uh, it was time to upgrade the monitoring the reporting and charting on it's also excellent and to be honest had I had solar assistant before I made the decision to disconnect the utility company I probably wouldn't have so at half past three we're bringing in <laughs> Oh, 420 odd watts from the 8 kilowatts array, uh, watt arrays and probably around about 250 watts on the 2 kilowatt panels on the back. Um, at this stage it's not enough to cover the draw of the house. I think Mandy's got the tumble dryer going still. Um, so generator will probably need to run, if not tonight, tomorrow at some point unless we get through the night as you can probably see in the background, we've got a barbecue bra going on. So we won't be cooking on the electric hob or in the oven tonight. So we should be okay to get through the night because the batteries did hit full charge at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, they were sitting at a float voltage of 58 volts. So full charge, we should be fine to get through the night. Hopefully we've got a sunny day tomorrow. I haven't checked the forecast, but if we've got a sunny day tomorrow, we should be all right as well. Had I known at the start of October, what I know at the end of December, I probably would not have pulled the plug on the utility company. It has proven that my system is not big enough to sustain two houses. When I put the system together in 2017, it was only ever going to be for one house, but things change and you adapt. We definitely need a bigger, better, battery bank if we want to stay off grid 25 kilowatts of lead acids just not enough for two houses simple as that uh, we can only discharge the lead acid down to 40 percent so you've worked it out it's not much storage there unlike another channel that we watch uh, the off-grid family they set themselves a challenge of going the whole month of december without using the generator and watching them I knew straight away there was no ways that we were going to be able to do that. Morning everyone. Morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Here's hoping 2023 is better than the last three were. <laughs> yeah. Now as you can see the ladder's up. In previous videos I've had quite a few of you commenting and saying I should be tilting the panels on the roof. Um, during the <laughs> low generation days I've been toying with that idea and uh, I've been doing a bit of experimenting so as you can see the panels are lying pretty flat on the roof a couple of issues with that obviously they're not at the optimum angle for the Sun and they also get dirty a lot quicker I'm going to check the generation on inverter 2 once I prop those three up against the wall, we'll see what improvement we get. Okay, we're going to have to do this again. <laughs> I took the reading on inverter two, 
and propped up the panels for inverter one <laughs> so we'll do that again now okay so that string is tilted let's go down and check on the inverter was reading 154 1.54 kilowatts okay as you can see that's made quite a difference extra 200 watts multiply that by nine strings hmm okay so I've just quickly tilted this string and the generation total generation went from 2.6 kilowatts up to 2.8 so 200 watts additional power by tilting the panels who knew it made such a big difference okay so it's 12:30, first of January you can see where the Sun is through the trees there still pretty low in the sky I'm just gonna pan around so you can see the panels are in direct sunlight and the angle they are at although vertical working really well they're generating 1.3 kilowatts out of a total of two kilowatts so i'm very happy with those vertical panels in summertime they might not work as well as they do at this time of year but in summer i've got enough panels on the roof to get us through there so in summary <laughs> you guys were right i need to tilt the panels on the roof i knew that but actually after tilting one string of three panels and seeing between 200 and 250 watts increase in power even if I rig them temporarily and have to go up there and drop them flat when it gets windy I've got nine strings so nine times 200 1800 watts extra power I can be generating just by tilting the panels be stupid not to Apologies to those of you that were hoping to see an updated generator runtime spreadsheet. Sadly, the amount of times I had to run the generator, the novelty of capturing the runtimes in a spreadsheet wore out very quickly. All I will say is that in December, I burned through 80 litres of fuel. Times one, 70 a litre, that's... Uh, a significant amount of fuel to burn through not ideal so that's also part of what prompted me to reevaluate tilting the panels on the roof thanks to you guys out there much appreciated for pushing me in the right direction and i have good news on the wife acceptance factor front since installing solar assistant mandy's got a much better idea of what's going on with the system she can clearly see state of battery charge, state of incoming PV generation, current load. So she's got a much better idea of what she can and can't do at different stages of the day. If you haven't seen Solar Assistant, I suggest you go and check it out. Uh, fantastic solution. I'm not sponsored in any way by them. I was put onto them by a friend. And I've got to say, I'm blown away. If you haven't seen it, Go and take a look at it. I'm pretty sure you can download an image that you can then flash onto your Raspberry Pi, plug it into your inverters and start monitoring it and take a look at it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And remember, tune in next week to see what shenanigans we get up to. At this stage, we don't even know what we're doing. Take care.